From possums playing possum to parrots robbing humans, we've got the news that'll make you reconsider your own wildlife on a segment we call In Case You Missed It. Well, you know, they say it's always great to know you're going to be working from home. That is, unless you happen to be a firefighter. Now, since my own dad was a career fireman, I couldn't water down this story. Okay, down in Cape Girardeau, Missouri, where unemployment is low, I mean, the competition to recruit firefighters is tough these days. Scott County Rural Fire Protection District's chief, Jeremy Parian, says most advertisements are kind of boring and they've got a burning need for new firefighter candidates. So, Scott County has gone humorous with signs outside its stations that offer hard labor, odd hours, low pay, but cool helmets. <laughs> okay, so what do you do with a giant 12 foot tall, 28 foot long potato sculpture originally built to promote Idaho's potato farmers after you've toured it across America? Well, if you said turn it into the Big Idaho Potato Hotel, you nailed it. It is a single room accommodation awaiting you in Idaho. I guess you could promote it with a slogan, this spuds for you. Huh? <laughs> now, if these accommodations sound appealing to you, <laughs> Hey, the hotel is listed on Airbnb, but you do have to chip in for $200 a night. Reservations begin in late May. And for you doubters, just remember the old saying, haters gonna hate, but taters gonna tate. There you go. <laughs> in our next story, one mother was getting tired of her daughters and their wild imaginations when after three days of their stories, she discovered a possum had taken up residence in the girl's closet. Now, some of you are saying, that's impossible. <laughs> but Caitlin Birch posted a photo of the animal lurking among the toys in the closet. Her Twitter post confessed, this possum was living in my children's bedroom for three days before we believed them. <laughs> she and her husband had checked out the room and they found nothing before, so they decided the girls were playing make-believe. In reality, the possum was playing possum the first time. Caitlin Birch's husband captured the possum and released it into the woods. And that's sad. I mean, they were watching a perfectly good down-home stew walk right off into the woods. All right. An Amazon parrot in northern Brazil proved that parrots are one of the smartest creatures on Earth, but apparently they're just not real good at obeying the law. You see, Brazilian police said some criminals had trained a parrot to be their lookout during robberies. And whenever the criminal parrot spotted a cop, he'd start yelling, Mommy, the police. And of course, he said it in Portuguese, being Brazil. Now, can anyone say, Polly won a stolen diamond? So it's reported that the police caught the parrot when he slipped on two nickels and slid from his lookout perch. It was truly a parrot dime shift. <laughs> We're going to scratch that one right out of here. I'm... The convicted parrot is now behind bars doing some hard time at a local zoo. After failing, wait for it, a polygraph test, yet he still refuses to turn into a stool pigeon, and he does not want to give up any fellow gang members, not even for a cracker. I'll bet they'll be wanting to make a movie of this crazy story out there in Hollywood. I don't write this stuff, I just read it. <laughs> Brazilian zookeepers say that with good behavior, the bad bird's gonna be released and living his life in paradise. Oh, they did mention that the little guy picked up an illness, chirpies. <laughs> chirpies, while he was behind bars. But don't worry, the vet said it's totally tweetable. Okay, like Adam Schiff, on the day the Mueller report came out, we have run out of time. But always remember that while there's no collusion, we still read the news.